Hello there, so I'm a mug for football games. This is World Football Online on the Nintendo Switch. It costs you eight quid. You can set up more than one team actually on this game. What's it like? Is it actually any good? Well, I've been playing it for about a day. Let's just um, show you right away the sorts of things you can do. So here, um, you've got transfer markets. You can go in. This is online. So you're going online and you're interacting with, um, you're buying um, players that are being offered up by other users online. And you can also get scouts as well um, to get you good deals on players. And then each week you make a profit or a loss based on your performance, sign players, and on you go. So let's get onto the team screen. So here you've got your team screen. You can develop your players by getting cards, which you receive after every game, little game um, card packs effectively. And then you can apply those cards to your players to help develop them. And they will naturally develop as they age. You can change their position and do all sorts of things. And you've also got the chemistry of the team on the right there which is a little bit like FIFA and Pro Evolution Soccer, then you get into the game situation here. So play, you're either in a cup or in a league. Let's get on to the match. One thing I would say is always make sure you've got two very different kits for your home and away kits because the graphics aren't great and you don't want to be watching the game. That's this, this is all you do. You're, you're, it's a football management game. So here, I'm in the white playing as Talk United. I'm up against Sporting... Torrente. I'm struggling to see that on my little screen there. I was playing this on the television and um, by reducing the graphics actually, I think you get a, a clearer picture. I think what it does is they, I think they call it anti-aliasing or something like that. And what it does is when you improve the graphics on the game, it effectively um, removes that to make the edges of the characters smoother but in my mind you lose a little bit of definition so you can see from the fans at the bottom of the screen around the pitch it looks a bit ropey i've had the couple of glitches one where my goalie just walked around in circles i had to restart the game that was a shame and then what you've also got in this game is you can change your effectively you can do substitutions during the game and you can change your um a tactics from attacking normal counter-attack things like that so it's not a great deal you can do it in the game and the position of players isn't very good um in as far as you haven't got a lot of flexibility but the challenge is certainly here so i'm in the amateur league and i'm struggling like crazy one annoyance with this the games do go on a little bit too quick in my mind and they don't have a proper half time so here look 43 minutes it'll go straight on through to 90 so there's no half time that is a crying shame if I were the developers, I would certainly do it so you had half time and you can make your, your um, substitutions on that at half time. Maybe even allow you to make auto subs so it can just do it for you. The games are quite watchable, however. Um, and here we are here. So Ario is my left winger I've been developing. Strikers in here, boom. So this is the kid that I, I know, this is um, John Margotson who I signed recently. But I've got Ferreira up top, who's my main striker and I've got a couple of guys in midfield who are half decent now so I've got quite a good side but the chemistry just isn't working how do I rate this game um I like the game I actually like it it's the sort of thing where you're not going to rage quit because it's so kind of gentle and easy to watch um it just needs a little bit of improving like I say get the half time sorted make the games go on a little bit longer but you are online against other players teams which is good and another thing you can do is you can create a second team cost you money but you create a second team you can then transfer so you've got effectively two games going on but you can then transfer players from one to the other so maybe if you've got a half decent player in one of your teams you can then say well actually he's not getting any game time i'll move him across to the other team the other things you can get as well as some of the cards you get, I mean, the camera angles aren't always great. Some of the cards you can get allow you to, for example, to increase the stats, maybe the shooting, the passing, the tackling, the stamina of players and things like that. Anyway, that's in that game. Let's show you what happens now. Well, here, as you can see, you get um, unlocks. So after each game, you will get some tickets. You can upgrade your team, age up your team, which is what I need to do there. And then you can, um, I don't really know where I'm going on the screen here. You've got transfers, you can get scouts. And these are real life transfers that people are trying to sell. And you can get scouts in there as well, who will unlock players that you can then decide to buy or not. So 
it's what I would call light management. You slowly update your team and um, not too much to do, but you've got this sort of chemistry on the right, which is quite nice. And then you just keep playing the games. It is pretty addictive, it has to be said. And after playing this for, I would say, a good couple of hours, I really do like the game. It's definitely worth eight quid. And I'm looking forward to playing teams of people I know, because I think that's going to happen. I am really looking forward to that. And this is cross-platform on Steam and Switch. So, folks, get this game. World Football Online. Catch you guys online. You might play against my teams. Torquay United or Sheldon Villa. Villa, that is. You never know. Get it and join me online. Catch you guys on the football schmutball flip side. I couldn't have said it better myself.